Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be taking a look at Sujix OS, which is a distribution that is based off of MX Linux, and it's mainly geared towards gamers, graphics designers, and content creators, so it has all the packages that you would need pre-installed. And right off the bat, when we take a look at things, it has a nice setup. You have the conkey here with the time and the date, and then the panel, unlike MX Linux where it has it on the left, this panel is on the top and it's kind of transparent so it looks very nice also the main icon theme is different I think this is Numix Circle so definitely I, I personally really like this icon theme and then of course the cursor theme is different and, and so we have this nice abstract type wallpaper here so of course this is going to come with the stability that MX Linux has and if you haven't noticed on DistroWatch, MX Linux is actually in first place. So it's been getting really popular. And I can see why. It was actually, MX Linux was actually my first distro that I used that was with XFCE. So XFCE as well, the desktop environment is very stable. So the icon here that we have at the top is the installer. And I'm, I won't actually be installing the system because, well, you're probably going to know how to install it. It's using the MX Linux installer. But I'm mainly just trying to see what comes pre-installed and what it has to offer that's different from MX Linux. And of course the packages and everything, the repositories and whatnot are from MX Linux as well. So here we see the terminal and it's got this nice uh, I don't know if it's screen fetch or neo fetch, but it's pretty neat. And then the file manager, let's take a look. I really like the theme. I'm not sure what theme this is, but it's definitely pretty nice. And it also has uh, uh, the sh show hidden files toggled on by default. And I believe that if you do control and H in case you haven't, in case you don't know about this, if you do control and H, uh, using just about any file manager you can toggle on and off to see the hidden files and folders so that's pretty neat so apart from the visual look that you get right off the bat that you can see that it's different from the main setup of MX Linux we can see that this is most likely Plank here I believe so I'm not quite sure Let, let's see Oh, so this is a different type of dock. So I'm not sure which dock this is necessarily, but the dock on the bottom is certainly nice. And by default, we have two browsers, Google Chrome and Firefox. And then we have, of course, the file manager and the terminal. And then now kind of for the more content creator type stuff, we have OBS, Kdenlive, GIMP. And then for gaming, we have Steam and, of course, VLC Media Player. This, in my opinion, is the best media player, just period, out there that exists. And one thing that's really good is the fact that it has a converting tool. And I actually use this myself when I make my videos. Uh, when I record my videos, I convert my MP4 file into an MP3 file so that I can edit my audio in Audacity. And speaking of Audacity, let's take a look if it's pre-installed. Yep, so we have Audacity here as well. So when it comes to video editing on Linux, which I'm actually going to make a video on that sometime soon. When it comes to video editing on Linux, the main tools you would need are for recording, you would need OBS. For video editing, Kdenlive seems like the staple choice. Uh, although DaVinci Resolve is very good, but uh, I don't know if it runs on every machine or even every video card. And then for image ed editing, uh, GIMP is very nice. And then for audio editing, Audacity. So those those four programs are the main ones that you would need. So that's quite nice. And then of course, when it comes to gaming, there's Steam. Let's take a look if there's Wine. Um, I don't really see wine or what was that one thing called? I think it was Lutris or Lutris. Yep, there's Lutris installed here. 
So I won't actually be going into Steam, but just the fact that it's pre-installed, it's certainly a convenience. I think that uh, this is definitely a convenience for those who, when they want to install a distro, instead of having to go through the hassle of looking for the packages separately, you have them pre-installed on your system. Uh, so let's take a look here. So this menu, I forgot, uh, it has its categories here. I haven't used XFC in a while, so. But let's take a look, apart from the applications that we saw, what else there might be. So there's VirtualBox pre-installed. This is very nice because especially if you're a Linux channel, uh, it's very nice to have VirtualBox so that you can take a look at different distros and whatnot. So this is definitely very nice. This I also like. It has Genie, Icon Browser, and Sublime Text, but Sublime Text primarily, I think that this is very good um, to, like, as a text editor. It's a very good text editor in my opinion. So that's not really related to content creation and whatnot, but that's still very nice to have. So if you're a minimalist and you prefer to have a distro that's bare bones and has as little applications installed as possible, this might not be for you, of course. Uh, but for those who have specific needs when it comes to applications, this definitely gives you anything you would need, really. And there's also two browsers. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why Google Chrome was chosen instead of Chromium. Uh, if that was me, I would choose Chromium. <coughs> Excuse me. I would choose Chromium to be installed instead. Let's take a look. So now this is for sound. Uh, so there's Audacity. Clementine, this is a really good um, music player. Might also make a video on it sometime in the future. Also, as I mentioned about video editing, there's also Shotcut. So this is very nice. I don't know why I'm updating Steam. I'm not going to be using it. But Shotcut is very nice. I, I tried it once, but I personally prefer Caden Live. But just the fact that you have options is good. And that's the thing. If, if there's something, if you think it's too bloated or if you think you won't be using an application, it's very easy to just remove it. So these are the MX tools. I didn't know that all all of these tools existed. I remember I the last time I used MX Linux was MX17. I, I don't remember all these tools existing. But I won't really be taking a look at those. Then you have the LibreOffice Libre Office applications. It's always good to have them. Now, when it comes to when it comes to image editing, so we have GIMP, of course, but I'm surprised Krita isn't installed. That's always good for uh, like digital artists and whatnot. So I'm surprised that that's missing. Also, something else that's pretty good for uh, those who uh, do like music production and whatnot, Ardor. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure how it's spelled. But I don't really see that installed as well. That would be also another um, good application to have. Those ones are the ones at the top of my head that are missing that could be good to have. But I mean, that's fine. You can, of course, if, if a package is missing, you can always install it separately. But just looking at all the applications that are pre-installed, looking at the ones like Audacity, GIMP, OBS, Caden Live, Steam, basically has all of the es essentials. And one thing I just want to take a look at, which got me curious, are the default wallpapers because the main wallpaper is very nice. So you have some, these must be some anime or game wallpapers. Well, this one's not, but certainly has some interesting wallpapers here. Oops, can't really move that. Yeah. The default wallpapers are definitely nice. We got Spider-Man here. I like this one. So, yeah. Just taking a look at it, I'm actually... I'm surprised with this. I really like this. If I was more of a fan of XFC, I would certainly go with this. 
but because I really like KDE, and also I believe MX Linux is based on Debian, and this is based off of MX Linux, so uh, I like distributions that are based off of Arch, simply because of the Arch user repositories and, and uh, whether it's Octopi or Pamac, I really like those package managers, but um, definitely for a content creator or someone who uh, is looking to game or looking for something stable at the same time, I would definitely recommend this. And I really like also the look of it with the icon theme, the uh, nice little panel here at the top, little transparent panel and the dark theme that we have going on. It's definitely very nice. So, so yeah, that was a quick look at Sujix OS. Let me know what you guys think about it. And yeah, that was basically it. Thanks for watching.